Hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about um, the building, um, the production building, uh, the the small slaughterhouse. So um, just wanted to uh, explain to you how it works and uh, if it's beneficial or not. All right. So um, I'm gonna start to build it. Um, I think I'm gonna build it here, right here. There you go. Well. You're not gonna see it well, but uh, well, I could put it like this. Doesn't matter. Now, um, making uh, this slaughterhouse is very good in terms of making um, uh, extra money. Um, at the beginning, it's a little bit hard to to make it work because um, you need to have a lot of uh, animals first of all all right so if you don't have a lot of animals um, you're 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 not gonna have enough um, uh, resources in order to to produce to make the meat so right now I think well I have enough animals but the thing is I wanted to make more uh, cow shed more cows because they're the one who makes the most amount of money for um, in butchering so uh, but I'm uh, the point of this video is, is to show you how it works so you can see um, like at the end if you like it or not I'm sorry if it's lagging a little bit because my video card is a little bit cheap <laughs> <laughs> I'll be upgrading it soon, but I mean it's still clear, you know, it's not too bad. So now we're just gonna wait till the building is up. While the building is constructing, uh, I want to talk about a small juice factory at the same time. Uh, I've been doing tomato juice um, for since last year, 2018. Uh, I think it was November, I think, and I've been looking at the price of the tomato juice. How much is worth? Is it worth to you know? To actually make that instead of selling tomatoes itself is it worth to um, make tomato juice from the tomatoes that I uh, harvest so see the price since last year the price has been going down like seriously yeah it's a lot of money 8,000 but the thing is it says 379 it's been like going down since last year I want to see the graph go graphs go up so technically I'm looking at the expiry date which is um, which is uh, September 25th September so by every month like because you see every product that you sell a certain time of the month it's it's worth more so that's why I want to see which month uh, is it profit uh, do I make profit out of selling tomato juice or is it better to just sell tomatoes because I know by selling tomatoes itself uh, it's it's uh, I make a lot of money out of that right so um, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's worthy worth it to have a um, this building the small juice factory I didn't I didn't try apple or cherry because apples it takes it takes 300 days um, you know to to harvest well before we can harvest them it takes 300 days it's almost like a year well if you calculate winter because by winter like December you it, it, uh, you, the fields like technically you cannot it doesn't it stops from growing so you have to wait from December to um, what is it April before the apples start regrowing so your apples doesn't die right away no but it does it stops growing so that's why it's kind of long lanty and I and, you know and I'm kind of um, I don't like to wait that long and you know well to see if it's you know if you're gonna make money out of out of uh, out of it I, I think it's it, it you're gonna make a lot of money money out of apples but I prefer to do pumpkins because pumpkins it's only like 70 days well not 69 well I think it was 80 days at first and uh, trust me like look at my fields those three fields here <laughs> I don't know if you watched my last video but I made like a million dollar out of two fields so with this extra field I think I should make around uh, 1500 like a million 
and five hundred thousand dollar this year right so in six sixty nine days when when I harvest those three fields I'll be mega rich now I'm not even calculating calculating the um, uh, the profit that I make from um, from uh, selling tomatoes and strawberry all right I'm just gonna add people in there see while I talk you gotta multitask at the same time so now I'm gonna talk about <laughs> Wait a second. I didn't want to use the other employees because I'm going to use them for the uh, the slaughterhouse. So, okay. Anyway, oops. Did I? Yep. All right. So, here, I'm going to add this girl and I'm going to add this guy. And, yeah, that's not the right guy, but for the sake of the video, I'll add him too. Um, so technically if you look at here, you got chicken, cows, ducks, goats, uh, goose, pigs, rabbit, sheep, any animals that produce, that you can make, that you can butcher in order to, um, to gain meat, right? So you can sell the meat. Now, I've been, I'll be honest with you that I tried that in the past, like I've played with, like I, I had a slaughterhouse before in another, another game, but I kind of restarted the game because it was too buggy and I kind of lost like everything was buggy technically so now that I restarted and uh, they fixed the game a little bit more so now I can play it so better so now I'm I'm gonna try to you know use the slaughterhouse again to make money right so the first thing is if you look at if you look at the chicken all right uh, I'm gonna so let's see see it says yeah tw I'm, I got 29 chicken out of 30 in my building so it says here take above so I'm gonna put 20 so what happened is that my there's a dude um, there's a dude well there's someone all right who works who uh, from the what is it the the company here the butcher the warehouse the, the slaughterhouse whatever you know they're like see this guy here see <laughs> he's gonna go get um, like chickens like like uh, up to 10 chickens so you see I have 29 out of 30 so I told him anything that you can take all the chickens you want that is above 20 so I got so I got 29 so that means he got, he's gonna take up to nine chickens all right so if I put 15 no technically if I put 15 he's gonna take up to uh, well, 20 times minus 15, that's like, you know, 14 chickens, right? So the reason you want to decide how many you want, it depends on what your why you need the chickens for. So if you like, I don't know, if you think that, uh, because the more chickens you have, the more eggs you get. So you get benefits from having eggs as well. So you got to, you got to calculate, see, so, oh, he's taking how many chickens? Oh, shit, he's taking... A lot of them. <laughs> I think he's how many? Okay, no, he just took uh, five chickens. All right. So there's a max. Okay, so see, it says five units. So the maximum he can take is five units. So that's all right. So what happened is that he's gonna bring my five u uh, chickens all the way to um, the slaughterhouse. I'm sorry if it's lagging. All right, here. And when it's get in the slaughterhouse, my three employees will start butcher them you don't see it but <laughs> you're gonna see you're gonna see like that little blue blue line here going up like this that means that they're actually uh, they're actually butchering him uh, them unfortunately you know that's part of the game so uh, what happened is that when the five chickens are dead so you're gonna see the five chicken here they, they're gonna appear here so one second here there you go. So see the five chickens are there, and now my employees are going to produce the chicken. So because my employees also have high stats, like maximum stats and productivity for manufacturing, well, my these two employees here, I get a eight eight percent extra chicken meat. Um, yeah, so I get eight percent extra chicken meat. So make sure that whenever you choose employee, that they have those uh, this manufacturer. Uh, skill and then upgrade them to five out of five 
All right. It's, see, this guy, it, his skill is for uh, using ma uh, tractors and machineries. I'm gonna take him out later because I want to optimize my productivity for uh, butchering uh, animals. Okay. So that's for the chicken. So now I put at 15, but I can choose 20. I can choose uh, 10. I could choose five. It depends if you care about your chickens. Do you care about the eggs? Eggs are okay. I don't think I make a lot of of money out of uh, eggs but you know I mean I think I get I, I th you gotta calculate does the thing in this game you have to calculate everything so you gotta go to oh sh sorry about that you gotta go to um, the warehouse itself and you gotta decide is it worthy or not worthy um, you know to transfer chicken for meat oh I got oh she's come up see I got I gotta buy um, I gotta hire um, employees. Ah, oh, crap. All right, one second. Because I'm out of em of seasonal employees. Um, wait a second. Sorry about that. One, uh, two. Uh, and seasonal employees are good as well because, um, they, you know, like it says, it's it, they're seasonal. They, they only last for like four months, I think, something like that, four or five months, and then they disappear, basically, you know, so you don't, so if you don't need them for, I don't know, for winter, you know, let's say you don't need them for winter, well, you don't need to pay for them. You don't need to pay because every time you hire someone, you got to pay their salaries. So you, so if you have like 24 employees, that is, that costs around $400, so you do 24 times 400. So if you make the math, that's a lot of go a lot of money, right? So um, you gotta choose carefully here. Uh, right now, I'm just picking, and also you want to pick the one with three three out of five, four out of five, or five out of five, because they are I don't know. It, well, I, I think they they work harder and they last longer in the fields. Uh, I, I I think <laughs> so that. Let me see. Uh, I gotta fill these guy uh, and that guy too. So I make money while I talk. There we go. There we go. All right. I uh, gotta check over here. I got tomatoes. Uh, one second, guys. I just need to see if I need to sell anything because I got some food that are on automation and I got some others that are not on automa automation. I think this guy is on auto trade. Let me see. Is he on auto trade? Tomato, yep, he's on auto trade, so I don't have to care about this guy. Um, what else do I have? Mm, tomato juice, let me see. I just want to see if tomato juice, how much is worth right now. See, it's still going down. The price keeps going down. God damn it. Uh, I think I'm going to sell it and just... Uh, destroyed the building itself because it's not I mean it's not I don't know I don't know if it's three dollars seventy three cents like seriously uh, I gotta I gotta redouble check um, I gotta recalculate and see if it's really worth it anyway back to butchery so yeah so let's say you get uh, the proper employee here with the proper stats so you'll get maximum productivity so now let's say I want to have cows right here I gotta be careful because cows they go fast but they make the most amount of money, right? So I'm gonna check, I'm gonna put four, four. So you see the screen goes to every cow shed and when I when I hover my mouse to the, to, you know, this, it, it goes straight to the, um, uh, to, to the cow shed upon which I want to, um, to butcher, which how many, like, see I, I put four, so technically the, the car, the dude, you know, the, the butcher guy he's gonna come and take two cows out of my six cows because I said I said because it says take above four so that means if I have five or six cows he will they they will take the fifth and the sixth cows uh, the sixth cow in the cow shed so I'll, I'm always going to remain uh, always gonna have four cows in my cow shed all right uh, that's very important to understand. If you don't understand this, they're gonna take all your cows, and you'll be cowless. <laughs> cowless. <laughs> you, you'll have no more cows. Now, the good thing about four, because I know you're gonna say, why not five, right? 
uh, the, well the thing is this um, cows they breed right when they breed uh, it costs you around nineteen hundred dollar right and for nineteen hundred dollar you get two cows let me say that again for nineteen hundred dollar you get two cows which means each cows are worth eight hundred dollar each so it's very uh, profitable like you it's really like uh, beneficial for you to have four cows instead of five um, so one cows cost twenty six hundred and like I said before when you when they breed two cows for nineteen hundred so that means eight hundred dollar per cows instead of two thousand six hundred uh, dollar if you just simply buy one cow um, the only negative impact is that they don't breed right away <laughs> right so what happened is that it's gonna take a while before they breed so you're gonna have four cows out of six like all the time and so you technically you're gonna be making less cow milk so if your goal is to make a lot of cow milk though you don't want to do this so that's like I said at the beginning if you want to if you want to uh, benefit out of uh, slaughterhouse the slaughterhouse you need to have a lot of cow sheds like a lot of cows a lot of chickens a lot of everything so that you know so that when they I don't know how to explain this but the more cows you have the more chances you have somewhere you'll have cows breeding in one cow shed so that when the dude comes back to pick a cow well you know that you have other cows who are breeding and so basically you will always have plenty of cows for milk and for butchering so that's what I want to say same thing with the ducks. so I have 30 ducks so I'm, I'm gonna tell him you can take all the ducks above 20 so if he takes anything above 20 which means tens I'm gonna have 20 ducks in my um, in my uh, chicken uh, scoop or coop I usually call it and um, they're gonna be baking less eggs right so that's the only negative impact so that's why like I said if, if you want to if you like making eggs for uh, for profits then you need to have a lot of ducks a lot of a lot of house like a lot of um, how you call these things small chicken coop yeah that's it <laughs> you need to have a lot of small chicken coop and then pick your turkey pick your whatever and for those who don't know how to pick because at the beginning I was wondering how do you get the turkey how do you get the the ducks how do you get the you know the the geese whatever you call it what is it the geese because at the beginning you have a picture of a chicken like this one here right but before uh, before you buy do not buy right away at the beginning what you want to do is you want to there's gonna be an arrow over here and when you click the arrow you have the choice to pick between the geese the chicken uh, the ducks and the turkey and then when you pick the the animal that you want in that chicken coop then you start clicking buy 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 and then you can buy I don't know 30 of them and there's a truck that's gonna come and uh, fill up your chicken coop with the uh, the specific animal that you picked all right so that's very important to understand because I was wondering where are the ducks <laughs> and I had to search a little bit and it, you just have to click the arrow well now you don't see the arrow because you know there's already like uh, chickens in there so yeah just for you to know so um, what else did I want to do um, bum, 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 bum. yeah butcher so let's continue with the butchering here uh, warehouse yeah so you see the car the, the truck the, the black car once he make his run right he, he pick five chickens so he's not gonna pick uh, he's not gonna pick the cows right away so technically now I think he's gonna go for the cow that, that's the part I'm not sure cuz is he gonna wait I put 15 here I'm gonna put 20. Oh, oh no 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 no. I think okay yeah. Okay that's what it is. So what happened is that if I don't have if I have 20 chicken or less in my chicken coop, all right. Well, the black truck he's gonna go to the cow and see if I have cows for butchering, right? So if I don't have, let's say I have six. So you see all my cow shed are full. So what happened is this. Now I think he picked, he just picked five chicken, I think. So I don't think he's gonna pick any cow. So after the, the so after this, 
the next run when he comes back, if he doesn't, if 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 there's still 19 or 20 or less chickens, or let's say there's 21 chickens, well he's gonna take one chicken, and he's gonna take a cow or two cows I think. So he's gonna fill his truck with whatever is left to uh, uh, whatever I choose him to pick. You you understand what I mean, right? So like I said, right now I have 19. So if by the time the my employees are finished butchering the other five chickens and by the time he comes back and make another run and I still have only 19 chickens well the black truck the the dude he's he's not gonna touch my chicken he's gonna go oh well they, they he has 19 chickens all right I'm gonna go to cow shed and see if they have cow shed oh look at that uh he wants me to take anything above four cows so he has six so I'll take two two cows right so, all right so that's it so after that he he's gonna come back for another run but if he comes back to that cow shed and he sees that I only have four cows, then he's going to jump to the, other, to the other cow shed and see, oh, okay, so he wants me to take anything above four cows, so he has six cows over here, so I'll take two cows, right? And so on and so on and so on. So let's say uh, you have no more cows, and let's say all your cow sheds only have four cows each, because that's the minimum prerequisite uh, before he can pick any other cows. So he's gonna jump to the duck so he's gonna go to the duck and see uh, does he have more than 20 ducks yes all right so I'm gonna pick the uh, five unit of five ducks and he's gonna bring them to the butchering uh, slaughterhouse all right same thing with the goats so goats I'm gonna put see I have 15 so I want oh goats the goats are important so I'm gonna put 13 so he's gonna maximum amount of goats he can take is two because I need the goats for the milk and I love milk However, the goats provide, I think they are the second secondary um, meat um, maker in the sense that they, 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 they um, bring a lot of money. So if you don't care about your goats milk and you just want to make money out of the meat, so you can bring that down to 10. But don't forget, they're going to breed. Once they breed, you're going to have more goats, right? So in order for them to breed, they need to be happy. So you got to make sure you feed them well. <laughs> Same thing with the goose. So I'm going to put 20 here. Uh, pigs, I don't have pigs yet. Rabbits, I don't have. Sheep. Mm, I don't want him to touch my sheep because my sheep, uh, they produce um, wool. Ho what is it? Wool? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. All right I'm going to show you after. I'm just going to... Turkey. I'm gonna put uh, 20 here for the turkey, so he can take 10, tur 10 turkey, 10 turkeys maximum. So, sheep's are making this sheep's wool. Yeah, this thing here. This is a lot of money. So that's why I don't want them to butcher my sheep's. Well, not yet. Maybe later, but not now. So, uh, how much is it worth? Ooh, let me see. Thirty-six thousand dollar. Oh my God, sold. There you go. <laughs> you guys see what I mean? Uh, honey also makes a lot of money, but I just noticed something for honey. Uh, the bee house, uh, beekeepers building, uh, they are only active during uh, from April to December. In December or even November, I think. Uh, starting November, the, they will stop producing uh, honey. I didn't know, I just figured that out like few hours ago I'm like how come there's no more honey in my uh, warehouse so I realized that <laughs> it's because it's winter winter there's no bees in the beehives I'm like oh yeah that's true you see I'm not a farmer I'm just I'm just a gamer so I'm learning as I go <laughs> so, so if you want to save uh, yeah so if yeah so you can decide to release to fire your employee if you don't need them so you can save money because don't forget every employees cost around 500 uh 500 dollar a month like 400 to 500 dollar if you can afford it sometime even more so if you don't need your employees you can release them like the caregivers as we call them uh you clear and then you go to their house you know this guy and then you click release then means that you're gonna lose them but be careful if you do this you won't get him back and you will lose all the stats at the same time so he's like you're firing him right so if you don't mind keeping him for the entire winter well you can keep them and it's just that you're gonna be paying for nothing <laughs> or you can make him do something else if there's something something else to do right um, 
what else? I'm sorry if it's lagging. So yeah, for butchering, like I said, let me see how much, what did they take? Yeah, he took a cow and three chicken. All right, let's see what's the production here. Or right, is my employee, yeah, they're still there. Uh, see, so you see the blue thing here? It's going up very slowly. That's because I didn't, you know, make it faster. So, so, so for one unit, they will be making 541 point 67 kilograms of meat and trust me my friends that's that's a lot of money last, last time i think it was like eighty thousand dollar i think I'm, I'm gonna show that later oh wait a second what's going on oh, there's a lot of things all right you gotta what 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 yeah take a loan to get three thousand yeah right <laughs> wait there's no food okay when you see no food what okay who's the caregiver where is she? Uh, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, uh, she's stuck. See? When you see low food, that's because there's a bug. Usually. Well, usually. See, you gotta... Uh, see, I got like three employees who's stuck in the entrance. See, that's a bug. And the only way to fix that bugs is to restart the game. Otherwise, they will not... They will be stuck there, like I'm gonna show you. See? Oops. I got how many employees? <laughs> They're all, all of them, god damn it. Uh, I think the reason is because uh, usually they should be teleport here, but it doesn't work. I think, I don't know. Uh, it should be saying teleport so I can click it and then everything would be fixed. But all, all of them are stuck over here. You see, they're like doing like some sort of dancing. <laughs> it's some sort of... <laughs> like... They're all grabbing each other. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It's funny. They're like, uh, uh, the door is too small. So if I don't restart the game, they're going to stay there forever. And all my animals will have no food. So I have to restart. So before I restart, I need to save the game. Uh, farm. I call it farm. You know, big deal. Farm 10. And then I restart. Okay. Uh, exit to menu. Yep, that's the one. Are you sure you want to go back? Current unsaver. Yeah. So basically, unfortunately, yeah, it happens. That's the only bug I've seen so far since the dev uh, have made uh, many fixes. A lot of things have been fixed, but this is a new bug I haven't seen before. Before, before the the other bugs was that. The employee would be stuck in front of the uh, warehouse entrance. Yeah, that was the first bug, and now it's the barns. The barn. <laughs> oh god, let me see. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix that soon. But you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a cool game. It's a, it's a small game. It's a, it's, a, it's an interesting game. So, it, it's not like uh, GTA. You know, Grand Theft Auto. So. Uh, you gotta understand, it's stuff gonna, is going to happen, right? Um, the good thing about this game as well is the music. Like I said, the music is very pleasant. So if you like to play a game with, you know, like a cool music and um, like a very relaxed music, you know, and just farming and I don't know, that that is a very good game, you know, to play. <clears throat> I know that there's like farm simulator, but this game is a farm simulator. It's like it's only about a tractor. You know, it's, it's about managing tractors to build fields or whatever. Like, I, it, it, it's only it's boring. I don't like that. In Farm Manager 2018, uh, it's like farm steading. So basically, you do everything. You make the fields. You sell. You know, uh, you may you do agriculture. You uh, you can choose different type of uh, machineries, different type of buildings, you know, different types of, of way of making uh, resources and making money, etc., etc. You can you even have greenhouses, you know, you have different type of animals. I like that. It's very cool. It's very, very cool. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit long because um, I don't know why. Oh, yeah. Well, my PC is slow, so that's one thing. <laughs> um, 
the other thing about um, what is it butchering um, like I said if you don't have a lot of animals don't do it because because if you, because the you know the black truck the guy who picks up the animals I think he will fetch he will go fetch um, or pick up the animals every like every two or three days right so if your animals don't have don't have time to breed uh, it will say um, cannot pick animals uh, uh, you know cannot afford to pick up the animals because the contract doesn't work or something like that like you saw the um, the how you call it the screening like there's like a pop-up uh, window that shows up tells you like oh there's not enough animals in your in your uh, cow shed or in your chicken coop so I'm gonna jump to the next deal so if every animal housing the if you if you don't have enough animals in every cow sheds or every chicken coop or whatever every animal houses um, technically you don't get any meat at all right so you kind of waste you, it, it would have been like kind of wasting eighty thousand dollar for nothing that's why I'm saying that butch that slaughterhouse you want to wait till you're a little, a little bit further in the game with a lot of animals before you start making profit without uh, without losing profit from the eggs uh, from the uh, the milk because milk goat milk sheep's milk uh, you know they're they worth see now it's working now they're good <laughs> now the door opens before the door was half ho open <laughs> okay I think I know what because somebody I think I know why it bugs because when somebody goes in if there's a lot of people and somebody like you see the door opens and close if the door if somebody goes in and the door is half ho open and somebody comes in at the same time while the door is closing or opening they're gonna it's gonna bug so I think that's the problem technically <laughs> because before I before I reload the game the door was half 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 open so the, the dev should double check that because that's not good see my uh, well that's not good I mean see I don't have any more food and I didn't know as I talk sometimes I don't check and um, if I don't check they're gonna have a pop-up thingy here that tells you oh there's no more food do something about it uh, all right there's that just gonna fill up these people here there we go all right so those are my greenhouse I expanded my greenhouses before I only have eight greenhouses now I have um, 20 24 greenhouses yeah because makes a lot of money out of uh, that too Make sure you use tomatoes or strawberries. This is very important because you don't need to uh, uh, sow. Uh, you don't need to sow them again. You don't need to, you know, plant them again. So if you put anything else, like uh, uh, anything else, after when you harvest them, you're gonna have to recultivate the field, and you're gonna have to re re sow them. So um, yeah, you, you you don't want that. Because I don't have time for that. <laughs> uh, there you go. And don't forget. See, I forgot to fertilize my field. So you want to plow it, plow it, cultivate it, and fertilize it to make sure that the crop quality remains a hundred percent. Right. So that you can keep growing uh, what you want to grow in order to make plenty of money without having to come back and redo everything so for butchering like I said if you have any question um, that's pretty much how it works and uh, see now I have 24 left I have cows I have four out of six so he only took two cows now the next thing he's gonna do is gonna go to my chicken thingy he's gonna take four chicken I think and he's gonna take one cow I think <laughs> so you see that's how it works um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I'm still growing my uh, my farm. As you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger. I'm gonna have to buy more land. Um, 
I'm gonna be rich. See these three fields, guys. Pumpkin fields. That's like a like that's almost two million. Depends. It it depends because you see last last year uh, when I start harvesting it, uh, you, there's one thing I forgot to do is to check the expiry date. You want to make sure that you sell it uh, in the middle of October. By the middle of October, that's when the price is as at is highest, right? So, well, it, I mean, like it's a question of pennies, but still, the pennies make a difference, right? So, uh, yeah, you, you want to check that. Always check, like, how much it's worth. You know, like apples right now. See, the price goes up and up. So now it's like 1.2, 1.5, 1.7. So at, at a certain time during the year, it's it's gonna reach its maximum value, and that's when you want to sell it. So yeah. Uh, these apples, by the way, I bought them. I didn't make them because I wanted to use them for feeding my uh, my cows. And strawberry price keeps going down. I don't know why. How much is it? 6.4. How much is it worth? Yeah. I don't know. Tomatoes. Uh, how much is it worth? 1.56. Wow, that's so cheap. I'm gonna sell that before it goes even lower. <laughs> um. Let me see what else. Tomato juice, tomato juice. How much is it worth? See, it's, it keeps going down. The price sucks. I think I'm gonna destroy the building. <laughs> it's not worth it. Chicken meat. Let's see how. I'm, oh, wow. Look at that. That price goes up. But the thing about chicken meat is that it doesn't produce a lot. It doesn't produce a lot, so I don't have a lot of money. It doesn't make me a lot of money because chickens is not like cows. Cows, you may. Uh, you get a bigger quantity you know so because you have a bigger quantity and the value is higher like do I have cow meat no not yet he didn't even start uh, nah so see so you get for five unit five chickens you get 16 kilograms 16.25 kilogram you know but for one cow you get 541 kilograms so that's a lot of tons of money right just to let you know the second one would be the sheeps and the goats Ducks and geese are the same thing. Goose, I mean goose. Pigs, I think, yeah, they bring a lot of money too. But pigs, the problem with pigs is that you can only have up to, I think it's four or six pigs again. I think it's six pigs. Yeah, I think so. Well, I gotta, I gotta double check. I gotta start uh, making uh, pig farms. Yeah, and see how much money I make. Oh, 97.50 kilograms. See, this is second. Yeah, this is, would be the second because, wow. That, that's a lot of money yeah 65 kilograms for goat for one goat uh, 97 kilograms for one pig so I think I'm gonna make pigs actually <laughs> yep all right so that's it for slaughterhouse guys if you have any question let me know and um, I'll be able to answer your question if I can and uh, I'll see you in my next video all right peace